Hey, you guys. Most of my subscribers know that I'm a crafter and I'm also a businesswoman. I have my own boutique. So I love crafting and designing new items from my boutique. And I also have, I'm a businesswoman. So I need a space that will allow me to do all those things. If you'd like to see my crafting slash business office slash storage space, stay tuned and I'll show you. to my channel well you heard the intro so today I'm going to be doing a tour a detailed tour of my space my crafting space my business space and my storage space all in one and a half I have closet space also but I'm going to show you everything how I storage everything how everything is um, in where I need it and I'm gonna show you everything some people just want some help organizing so I'm going to show you some tips that I do, some content, some some methods that I use to stay organized and keep myself together when I'm doing some shipments or if I'm crafting or because we do have some business women on here. We, there are some boss women on this on my um channel watching me. So I also want like to show you how to be organized as a boss and on your own business. Like if you're crafting now and you want to take your crafting to a another level higher level and start selling them then i can show i can show you how to organize your room now my room is it's not all fancy it's just an extra bedroom but and it's not big at all as you can see small little space i'm gonna do a 360 for you this is all the space i have but i'm gonna make it work and i'm gonna show you how i'm making it work how i'm gonna make it work okay first of all let's start over here i have all my notebooks you know sublimation notebooks I got these from Dollar Tree. They all these little containers, okay? Little things I like. I got some more up here, okay? Have a little picture on the wall. My son drew that for me. He made me put it there. <laughs> and then my other containers down here have all my t-shirts that I'm gonna be using. Keep them nice and fresh and clean, okay? This is small, I put an S right here for small, medium, and large down there. The extra large, two X, three X. Okay. Then the next drawer I have is my um all my sublimation shirts. I just put them all in here. All my 100% polyester shirts, and that's all sizes. And down here is my sublimation blanks, tags. I have fans, I have all kind of stuff. Uh, pillowcases, mouse pads, sequins, um, makeup bags. I have all kind of stuff down here. I just keep it in this. You know, it's all white. So I'm going to keep it in there and stay, keep it from being getting dusty. And then I also have this down here. I have some just extra more materials that I can use. This stuff I can use vinyl on. This extra material down here I can use vinyl on. Then I'm socks for sublimation. Okay. And let me, before I push this back, let me show you this. This is just my messed up, my mess. This is my mess, my messed up being. I messed up <laughs> things that I did and I, and I messed up on them or whatever were just samples that I have. I can always look back on them. And these are all the cricket bags I got from have my own cricket press. I got all three, all four of all three of them. So the bags, I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these bags, but they here. Just different things I messed up on, like, and I can go back and look at it. And I can, you know, learn from my mistakes. I know I told you before I messed up on my little, my book bag the first time I tried. But it, this old stuff encouraged me from where I came from. So, <laughs> so, or how I started off. And now I'm doing a little bit better, okay? So that is my mess, my goof up container. Who else has a goof up container? Or do you throw everything away? You shouldn't throw nothing, you shouldn't throw it away today. If you keep it, you can be able to remember where you came from, where you started from, okay? This is my container. For the um, children's shirts, okay. Everything is in containers. Um, what's this? Oh, this is all my jewelry. I also make handmade jewelry. I've been making jewelry for ten years. I just started doing this sublimation and cricket stuff for the last hmm, since July. 
Okay, so before then, I was writing books and designing jewelry. And here's my, uh, some more of my jewelry stuff that I use. Okay, all my jewelry stuff. Um, what's in here? Um, 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 earrings that I got that I'm going to be blinging out, blinging out some beads on the, you know, pearls and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to bling these apples out. Okay. That's what I'm going to do with those. And, guys, I have more notebooks here. I just ordered some more notebooks from the Dollar Tree. They gave me a, I got a whole box of them. Book. That's really a big demand for me. I get a lot of people that want me to do their notebooks. Okay, this space right here is where I take my pictures for my website and for Facebook. It's advertising. For advertisement and promotion. This is my ring light. I just purchased it. Just took it out the box and I just set it right there. I have a mannequin. This mannequin I take with me on when I go to vendor tables. And set up, you know, put a nice shirt on top of there. And I'll just set it up there too when I'm taking pictures also here in my house. And I just made that um little shot. Um, I just made this and I just wanted to keep it up there. I didn't sew it. I can't sew. So <laughs> I, I bought some this stuff that I can use to probably close it up. Also have, I always keep stuff out that motivates me that I already made. I love these chip bags I made. Okay, and I just got some extra chip bags over there just because I want to make some more. Okay. So I showed you this little corner over here. And I showed you all the stuff that was down here under the table. Now let's go over here. Basically, this is just my stand that I put my mugs and stuff in. I keep these out to motivate me, okay? Yes, I, I made these. And I'm just like, okay, this, it motivates me. When I come here and look at my work, I love looking at my work. I love what I do. So it just motivates me and inspired me when I'm looking at it to do more. These are here are my um, blank mugs, some more blank cups and mugs. Water bottles, glasses, wine glasses, more, more stuff down there, glasses, okay? And it's all my glasses and stuff on in cups and mugs. And I'm going to show you this while I'm over here. This is another, this is another box of mugs. This is my sublimation mugs. It's a whole box of that, those. Then these two, these three boxes you see right here, one, two, three, is filled with these right here. Like this extra of these cups. Okay, and while we're right here, let me show you this. This is my my heat. This is my mug press, and I'm very upset because I only had it for since July, probably August, and it's broke already. I got it from Amazon. And you know, Amazon don't take stuff back. Basically, the screw is too small, and I put it in there, and it's like stripped, so it's not staying in here. So yes, I'm very upset about that. And I can still use it. I can hold it closed, but I'm like, dude, I paid for this. Can I get some? Can I get a warranty or something? It's like, I, I hate, I really, I hate buying stuff from Amazon because you can't really get a warranty. You can't take it back. But yeah, my mug press is broke. I'm going to do some mugs. I can't even do them yet. I can, but it's going to be ghetto for me to close it up in the video. But I might do it because I love my mug press. I love pressing mugs. Okay, here's my, um, I have all three easy presses. This is the small one. This is the large one. And then that's the medium size one down there. Okay. So they all stored right here. This is my, my easy mat, my press mat. Okay, and what else is over here? Here's my um, heat and press, my heat press, right up here on this side. And then my sub paper, I mean my uh, butcher paper, and a little sign that says, you got this. So that motivates me too, to get my stuff together. And right here's my prepping area when I prep my shirt. Just, this is to keep this area clean. My um, roller, lint roller, and then this beautiful big old window. When it's light outside, the sun is shining, I get all that scenery. I love it. Okay. More storage stuff. Uh, more stuff under here. Basically, I just purchased this. I might do a review on this and do some mug. Uh, I mean, do some um tumblers. So, I just bought that. I said well, I wasn't going to buy it, but it was on sale. So, yeah, I bought it. Okay, let's start from the one below on the bottom. This is just full of um, Dollar Tree items, blanks, and stuff that I can use to sublimate with. Then, right here, oh, it's just some jogging suits. Since it's about to start getting cold outside, I found some polyester jogging suits that I can um, start sublimating. And this right here, yes, ladies, I'm going to um, be launching my lipstick with my um, lipstick and my my um, lip gloss line to my website. So, I have a container full of different types of lip glosses and stuff. 
down below down tonight. So stay tuned to that. And check out charmingyellowteeth.com. Okay, and this is just little stuff I lift. Got this little container. So let me put something in here. <laughs> little this little thing. If I got my um, what's this stuff called? Stuff you use for um the, the tumblers, epoxy. I have my a mud podge. Got some spray on my podge, and I got some of this ear finishing. You can use for different things. And yes, I have my cinch machine. I bought my journals with y'all. I love those journals. And then under here, I have just water bottles. Blank water bottles I can use. Okay. Over here. So this, this is a closet. I am launching more. Sh I have shoes on my website too. So those are sh shoes that I purchased wholesale. And I got them all organized so I can see the size and what they are. Okay. The other side of the closet is just oats, oat winter coats. And this is my little corner on here. I'm going to show you this back wall first. All this stuff in here is for packaging. For, them, for my boss ladies that's, you know, selling stuff. I have the um, packaging stuff. The boxes that they get from FedEx and from, um, from UPS. They, they give you free shipping boxes. Um, I, got, I bought this stuff from Amazon. These little bags from Amazon. Um, I got some nice bags I use when I go vendor. For my vendors tables okay I got the pack packaging tape I think that's all that's in here those are the umbrellas that I purchased from Home Depot for sublimation and over here these are my mats with my Cricut design space and here's my comp my um my sublimation printer the Epson 7710 Here's my regular inkjet printer that I use for cut and print or any other kind of projects I be using, like my journals, my um, stickers, all those things I print out on this printer. And then, of course, there's the Cricut Maker, the one that stole my heart with well, lots of limitations to try and take over. <laughs> so these are my babies. Can't do nothing without these three, okay? And of course, it's my sign for my business, my boutique. And over here on this wall, I just have, this is just motivation again. I like to see the things that I've already created just to motivate me. And then plus this is right here. This is my, my prayer. Lord, keep my soul beautiful and my mind wise. Thou shall not try me. This picture right here, this is the first one I ever printed out. Did a print and cut on it. So I want to keep that for a memory. A memory. And I used my bleed on it so I couldn't, I didn't keep it. So I just left it and I just hung it up. So I know that that's my first one. I, my shirt, my first shirt I made. My cricket. Okay, this is my desk. Well, I have a, as you see how my desk is, I have, you know, this way, and then I have a, another table this way. All three of these tables I got from um, Sam's. Okay. And I did this so I can have enough room to work. Let me show you. These are all my beads. I like to keep my beads out. My stones, my pearls for my, for my um, cups and my mugs tumblers whatever i want to bling out there's a um alcohol that's good to get 91 percent alcohol to clean your surfaces so your vinyl can stick better i use this gym gym tech i just started using that but i also have some e6000 this is just little stuff paint which is the little what e6000 right here then i just got a little stuff my bible right here wipes girl boss yes this is stuff i said i got i purchased the um liquid stitch to, to probably try to stitch up my sash since I can't. So, this little stuff over here, my scissors I just bought for um to make my chip bags. Okay, and this little stuff glue, more alcohol, different stuff, gloves. I'm changing my ink. Thank you cards for my customers when they purchase something. I put them a little thank you card inside there. Extra glue for my hot glue gun. Papers I can read. Cricut stuff that I um my ruler. My cutter. What else I need to show you on here? Let's go to this table. All my tools are here. My thing for my, um, when I do my cups, my beads, and my pearls. My paper cutter, my Cricut, my scissors, more glue. I can go over here. Um, pencils, pens, my stuff for my Cricut to, to weed and stuff like that. My transfer, my um, heat transfer tape, my regular tape, my stapler. And of course, my little scrapers from Cricut. I did my little coaster that I jacked up on so I use this for my glasses when I'm in here drinking my juice or water or whatever and plus you know I, ha I have to have my little 
um, journals. This journal right here is all about YouTube. This is what I put. I messed this up. It's too dark, so I just use it. Um, and I sublimated it. It was too dark, so I just used it for myself. All in here is basically all the stuff I'm going to be doing on YouTube. All my notes that I'm going to, I mean, all my tutorials that I'm going to be uploading. Everything I need about YouTube. This one right here is for my inventory. For, like, my shirts and stuff when I, you know, anybody bought shirts or whatever. And this is for my lipstick line and my jewelry. So I'm kind of organized. I try to keep things separate so I can be able to know where to go. Of course, this is my laptop. Okay. And let me go ahead and sit it on down and show you what's under my table. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out. Under my table right here. Here's all my my 651 vinyl, okay? 651, most of it's Cricut. I do get a lot of vinyl from other warehouses too, as far as like um, online stores. Here's some more. This is where that's this is these are from Cricut mostly. Okay. And these are from my, my order from online. See how much they give you? They give you so much more than Cricut. Okay. They give you so much more than going to Cricut. Look at this. This is rows and rows and rows of, 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 of vinyl. Three. I mean, this is the 651 vinyl. Then down here is just all my stuff in my journal. Well, most of the stuff in my journal. My little um rings, my um chipboard, paper that I put in my journal. Um, stuff like that. All this is doing my doing my journal. More chip more chipboards. Okay. And up here, you will see my sublimation paper. I said this up here because it's so long. I got the um, I got the A sub, and this is eleven by seventeen. And then I also have. Sorry, this camera. Y'all can't see the down, y'all. I'm trying to show y'all stuff, so it's all over the place. This is the um, eight and a half by eleven. Okay. A sub. Alrighty, so over here is all my heat transfer vinyl. Okay, I got them all in this tube still. Heat transfer vinyl over here too. So I separate them so you can, so you will know the difference between them. Okay, because it's hard sometimes to tell, but you can tell because this have a shiny backing on it, and then the six fifty ones, they all have paper on the back of them. Okay, here's my contact paper that I use. I got from Dollar Tree, and then I'm just. Purchase some of this infusible ink that I'm going to be using with Cricut. I'm going to show y'all that tutorial coming up soon. And then over here, my garbage bag. This is my garbage can. I have used a lot of garbage. I throw away a lot of papers from transformation, you know, from, from um, sublimation. And here's a whole case. Yeah, I went crazy, y'all. I went super crazy. I have a whole case of these tiles that I got from Office Depot. I got from Home Depot. A whole case of them. So those are really good to use to, um... So just layer your vinyl and practice on layering your vinyl. I love using those tiles because it's small and it's even space and it's level. And you don't got to work. You know, it's really easy to use. Okay, I showed you all that stuff over here on the floor. And this is just a pile. When I when I have scraps, this is when I have scraps and I can store them in here. And I can use them for lips or something like that. So I have two bucks of scraps of vinyl. And this is just all mixed up. Okay. Also, here's some drawers. This is, I just basically, when you, I, have a, I had an old dresser. But I'm not throwing it away. This to be perfect for storage. So now I use it for my storage. Here's some beads, extra beads, um, ribbons, tape, glitter. Okay. And this drawer is just my heat stuff, you know, my electric stuff. I have my heat dryer, my um, glue gun, my little arm, mini arm, my heat roller, I mean my um, lint rollers, more um, ribbon. And I have a hot, I don't use it before, a heat tool. Okay, just bought it because it's going to fail. More extra strips of vinyl, but these are bigger pieces. Okay, they're just bigger pieces of vinyl. Just, I can use just extra papers and stuff. I just throw in a drawer, my, my little, and this is all my um, other paper that I use. My sticker paper, my printing paper, my, um, yeah, all the different the brochure paper I use, my sticker paper, my transfer paper when I use that, copy paper, all of that. And under my printer, I have a drawer full of newspapers. I can't show you because my thing is there, but newspapers to, for my mugs when I'm shipping out mugs. And then I have tissue paper when I'm shipping out shirts. These are this is a drawer full of bags. So I, I have shirt bags for my shirts, little bags for little things. So I put my bag, my I put my shirts in bags when I send them out. And this is just more bags when I'm doing vendor tables. 
Okay. And I think that's it. I think that's it. That's my whole space. And this is my little, my bags that I have that I can be using to work on. This is my tripod, my, my tall tripod. And this is my little um, shift, my little divider I can use when I'm doing videos and I don't want to see my room when it's junky. Craft room slash business office slash storage room. And I love this spot. I love it. I come in here and I love doing my crafts in here. And that, the light over there is just extra because I have a ceiling fan up there. Sometimes it can't be that, it's not that bright. But when I open that window up, when I open them blinds up, it's, it's so much light in here. Sunshine come through here. Okay, I'm going to show you one more thing. And then I'll be done with this video. I have more storage here. This is stuff that I take with me when I go on to vendor's tables. These are book bags that I already made. Okay. Um, these are just here because they're here. This is just tank tops. And since the season is over with tank tops, I just leave them in here. Okay, so I don't take them with me. Here's my, um, just some stuff that I had. I had a boutique already open before, but I closed it down. So I'm doing everything online. So I have a lot of different kinds of shirts and stuff and hats and purses in here that I take with me on vendors. When I go to, um, when I go to, a, when I have a vendor's table. These are all my mugs that I already made. Sublimated. Okay. And in this container, this is my shirts that I've made. And I just put them in plastic. See, they wrapped up in plastic already. They're all done. Sublimation. And they're all nice and ready for me to put on the vendor's table. These are all my books that I've written. So, um, just extra copies and stuff. So, when people sell them, when I sell them, they're right here. All this stuff is, all this stuff in this closet is stuff I can sell. So, when I get orders from off my website, I can come right here and I get it. Okay? So, this is all my storage for my orders that I can sell. And these are all my notebooks, my journals. And uh, more stuff that I've made, mouse pads, everything I've already, I already created is in these containers, okay? So there you have it. I have a little spot right here for all the stuff. So when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. I get, get, get these containers and walk on out the door. And I also have like this, um, this, this, um, it's a, like a dolly. It's really nice. I can stack everything up and I can just push it right into the place where I'm doing my vendor's table. I don't worry about carrying this stuff. I have like a little wagon or dolly that i bought from i think amazon and i love it so here's my space here's my little storage in my son's closet since he's so little he's only nine so he can he this big old walk-in closet so i use half of it <laughs> and there's some extra rugs i can use that i can sublimate on but all this stuff right here is for me to take with me when i do my vendor's tables hey i hope this video encouraged you or inspired you to get your craft room organized and ready to craft and to get those packagings those package ready to get shipped to your customers if you are a boss lady so i showed you my craft room and i just love doing what i do and i just wanted to show you how i'm getting inspired how i stay organized and how i just love my room my craft room I hope, I hope these tips help you out. Please subscribe to my channel and like if it was helpful for you. Click on that red bell so you can get notifications when I make new videos. Also, if you like the crafts, if you like crafting, please come and join our Facebook group called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. But please answer the four questions. I will not approve you until you answer the four questions. And please check out my um, Charming Gal Boutique dot com and check it out on facebook like me on facebook charming gal boutique on facebook all right it was fun doing this little tour of my little room my little space until next time bye bye